Now the characteristic feature that you see in this patient is that she has a gummy smile. Okay, so here you can see there's so much of uh, gingival display and complete incisal display as well. So how do we categorize this feature of the patient on any malocclusion or any classification rather? So initially there was no classification that included such uh, uh, malocclusions or included such features. However, in the 1960s when Ackerman and Prophet gave their uh, diagrammatic representation of the classification based on the five major factors. They also included the rotational tendencies of the jaw and the dentition on the basis of three perpendicular uh, planes. Okay, so they included something known as pitch, roll, and yaw, which is basically uh, rotational tendencies of the jaws along the three pl uh, three perpendicular planes. So there is this plane. Okay, so these three planes are there which are perpendicular to each other. So, uh, first is the anterior posterior plane. So, here you see this um, demarcated with red. This is the anterior posterior plane and a perpendicular line which is passing through this perpendicular axis which passes through this plane is used to classify pitch discrepancies. Okay, now what is pitch? Pitch is the up and down motion. So, if this is uh, the axis, okay, this is pitch axis, okay, the up or down movement or up or down rotation along this axis is classified as pitch. So how does this appear? This appears as either uh, the entire jaw that is the maxilla or mandible or occlusal plane, the entire, uh, the entire plane shifts either upwards or downwards. So this can appear as uh, gummy smile or it can appear as less incisor display. So if we see here in this clinical image, well, what I was saying that if it is downwards, if the entire jaw or the entire occlusal plane or maxillary plane shifts, rotates downwards, there will be excessive display of the gums as well as of the incisor. So this results in gummy smile. Had it been the opposite where the entire thing rotates upwards, we would have seen less incisor display. Okay, so these are pitch defects. Pitch. Okay. Now the second plane is the transverse plane that is marked in yellow here. Okay, So this is the transverse plane and the perpendicular axis which passes through the transverse plane is used for roll, uh, roll uh, discrepancy. So this is roll. Okay, So this again is up and down movement but along the transverse plane. So this is up, I mean this is down and this is up. Okay, So this will be uh, along the sides which, will you, which you will notice. So this is what I mean. So up and down movement. Okay, this is along the transverse plane. So this is the transverse plane and up and down movement. So how this appears is here you can see this uh, the right side of the patient has uh, looked like it has rotated downwards whereas the left side has rotated upwards. So this is how roll appears. Okay, this is rotational tendency that is up and down movement along the transverse plane. And the last is something known as yaw. So yaw is seen along the occlusal plane. So this is the occlusal plane here marked in blue. Okay, and this is the side to side movement. So, this is side to side movement seen along the occlusal plane. Okay, so this is how it appears it appears as midline discrepancy. So, this is side to side movement. So, here you can see this is the uh, uh, skeletal midline, and this is the patient's dental midline which has shifted towards the left side of the patient. So, side to side movement that is rotation that is seen that results in yaw. Okay, so quickly if you see up and down. Rotation uh, related to the lips and cheek is pitch. Up and down rotation on one side is roll. And side to side movement or rotation of the jaw from one side or the other along a vertical axis that is yaw. So yaw also results in asymmetric posterior cross bites. Okay. So here if we come back to the question, we know that the answer for this question is pitch. Because we can see this gummy smile, we don't see uh, any side to side movement like a roll. We don't see any deviation of the midline. So this is not yaw and definitely not divergence. So this is pitch.